So obviously I think by now and box office speaks for itself, you probably saw Civil War maybe even more than once. And there's obviously a character in there that's very integral to the Hulk. And that of course being Ross, Thunderbolt Ross. Um, now, ever since The Incredible Hulk, they've always played coy with the idea of The Incredible Hulk being part of this bigger continuity, right? Um, that's because the license is of course owned by Universal and Kevin Feige does not want to renegotiate that, so they're just kind of borrowing the character and uh, that's how it's done, right? Uh, so we don't know if it's ever gonna be another solo Hulk movie for the foreseeable future. But with the return of Ross, a lot of us were like, well, can we get the leader? Or at least Betty back. Um, and Betty is a pretty important character to the Hulk, obviously. Now. There is a, I want to say French, maybe Portuguese, Philippines. See, I did my research where the article came from before this video. But no, um, they essentially have a magazine and uh, or a newspaper. And the newspaper says that Betty will be back for Avengers Infinity War. And people are quick to discredit this and say, no, it can't happen. There's no reason for it. But I think there is. Um, if the Hulk is in space, which means Bruce Banner is in space, he's being forced to fight in a gladiatorial arena, and he's probably being starved, he's broken, there's probably cause to him having some, like, you know, post-traumatic disorders or stress or something, right? And when he's back on Earth, Who's the one person that was able to be his center? His first love, Betty. And if you really think about that, you bring back Liv Tyler. Once again, you got this continuity. She's been there and now she's back for him. He can rely on her. We're humanizing the Hulk now to a level we haven't seen since the Incredible Hulk. And you can't really say that's a bad idea. And once again, it pulls back a character that we haven't seen since Phase 1, the second movie of Phase 1. That's kind of insane, right? Just like Ross. Um, and once again, it gives that personal connection where Ross can be like, listen, the Accords, man. And Betty's just like, I don't care. I love him. And he can be like, yeah, I need her. That's awesome. You know, everybody has their anchor. Tony has Pepper. Steve has... Bucky, that is really his anchor. That's the only person he has from his life, you know, that's still left. Hulk needs Betty. It's like peanut butter and jelly, right? You gotta do it. So hopefully it happens. Honestly, I'm all up for it. You guys let me know how you feel about it. 